My name is Nikki Fairchild. I am the Early Years Teacher Status Programme Coordinator at the University of Chichester. Um, and it was my pleasure to partner with Boogie Mites and the team with the research project that we did in 2013. And I was able to do that in partnership with, with my research assistant, Dr. Regina Caruso. Um, part of our brief was to consider practitioners as well. So how do practitioners feel about the training? how it had benefited them in the short and long term mm. and how they were using the programme going forward as well. And trying to look very holistically at it, that it that we, we wanted to sort of see if there was any impact on the holistic areas of learning, but also the way the Boogie Mites programme was structured as well. Great, yeah, because of course the Boogie Mites programme includes the information for the parents and the practitioners Absolutely. linking it to the EYFS. It does, and it's really good that you have babies, toddlers and, and school ready as well. Yeah. At the development stages. Absolutely. So it gives a very good mix of age ranges as well. Oh. All practitioners love the training. They felt really enthused after the training. They all wanted to go and try it out in their setting. Mm. They all could see the real positive benefits, not just of the parent programmes, but also of working with the children and actually using it themselves as a resource. Um, you gave them the tools to work with both parents and children in a really fun, effective and interactive way, which mm. was fantastic. Um, yeah. Um, it's a great precursor to phonic learning because it encourages children and practitioners to start active listening, active engagement, um, and letters and sounds phase one is still really widely used within nursery. So it's a really strong link to some more academic aspects of the early years as well. But also around physical development, personal, social and emotional development as well. So it really is a very good cross-curricular program. Mm. And can I just sort of add that it will also help, particularly practitioners and settings are being asked to take children from very diverse backgrounds. Mm. So practitioners who have children from diverse backgrounds, mm. it actually gives them a really strong link to support all children. It's a very inclusive programme. Yeah. So it really helps their own goals of inclusivity as well. Of course, yeah. Yeah.